If you like this video, please press like and consider subscribing. Thank you. I've been talking about Mars colonization and future Mars plan and future Martian base since I've started this channel, but none have inspired my confidence to such completeness and answered all my questions that I'm left speechless as this project I'm about to talk about. Hazel and Eckes Leo Callahan partnered to come with what I can best describe as most plausible, most logical and most thought out plan for future Martian habitat. From how the base will be built, what is needed to build such base and what sort of technology is needed to implement a said idea. Although I've seen European Space Agency's own plans for the Moon Village, which I impressed you to say the least, and can see how the design will be implemented, and the fact European Space Agency is already working on the basic framework, the fact the set principle are at least a decade away, it's hard to imagine actual implementation in real time. What Hazel and Echoes Leo Callahan demonstrated here and I'm very hopeful they can produce practical demonstration of said technologies. What in particular I'm interested in is the autonomous droids that can work together as one unit or separately as a specialized individual units. The principles can be demonstrated here on Earth with relative ease. Even with the basic legal programming skills, one can create a set of instructions for little droids to complete. This requires constant updating and constant vigil as things often don't pan out as planned. More complex programming in Python, C++ or C Sharp could create relatively smart AI that could potentially execute set of instructions, but again, this will require frequent adjustments and some sort of control from Earth-based control center. The fact is, Mars is very far away. Okay, programming and complications with AI aside, which, I must admit, is a major problem that needs to be solved before any droid is sent over to Mars. The implication of what Hassel and Ikes Leo Callahan are proposing is something of home away from home. A very comfortable housing unit with all the modicums of Earth home, just on Mars. The backbone of entire design are small multi-versatile autonomous rovers that can be made to do a number of tasks from carrying stuff to more complex operations, a scout, logistic, excavation, builders, battery storage, or 3D printing, and so on. The rovers will be sent a few years ahead of any future human mission to Mars, with tasks to build using 3D printing technology a first Martian habitats. As rovers literally can do several tasks and operations and with many redundancies due to modular robotic swarm design, it is expected quite possibly the 3D printing phase could be done without major human involvement other than ensuring everything runs according to schedule. However, in case of loss or a damaged rover can easily be replaced by another rover. The first task will be to construct a large shield-like structure from Martian regolith that will provide a sufficient protection from the radiation and small meteor impacts, as well as cover from heavy sandstorms that are frequent on Mars. The shield will be sufficiently strong to provide necessary protection, offering a great deal of light to pass through various openings in the structure. The inflatable pressurized habitat sent from Earth can be inflated underneath the shield cover and offer protection, comfort and plenty of natural light. Once the Martian crew arrives, they won't need to worry and look for deep holes or lava tubes to build the initial colony, but will be provided by highly functional habitat. Each inflatable pressurized habitat can be customized according to the needs of the base, with living quarters, greenhouse, labs, workshops and so on. The power will be provided by several kilopower nuclear reactors, each capable of generating up to 20 kilowatts, and large solar array. Presumably, the battery storage will also be in place as well. From what I saw here, I'm really impressed, and I would certainly want to see this system being tested somewhere in the desert, and see if rovers can perform well in the dust, and how well and fast 3D printing rovers and other rovers perform. Indeed, if only we can embrace such innovations and relatively cheap solutions here at home, 